Hey, I'm Richard Brooke. This is Jordan Adler, and we're gonna. This is like a dream come true for the two of us because we're both helicopter pilots, and one of our dreams is to come together and fly together. So today is an epic, epic day for us where we're gonna go up and fly around Las Vegas together, and that'll be a lot of fun. So tell everybody, Jordan, why did you want to become a helicopter pilot? I really thought it'd be great to be able to, uh, you know, bring friends to town and, and take them on a tour of the Strip and and just really fly around and, and, and maybe help them to expand their dreams a little bit and have some fun. Yeah. And, uh, you know, maybe see some things that, uh, from a different perspective that they hadn't seen before. Also, you know, I used to stand in my condo on the Vegas Strip and I used to watch the helicopters, you know, giving tours and going around and, and thinking, you know, like, what would it be like? And coming from the world that I came from, that that idea was completely out of the perspective of a kid growing up in the neighborhood that I grew up in. Yeah, you know? yeah, me so. too. For both of us, the idea of uh, you know seeing a helicopter flying around and visualizing, wow, someday you know, wouldn't it be cool to to actually learn how to do that? So to just jump into the concept of flying a helicopter, I think I started at the age of 50. Uh, you know, it's pretty challenging and. One of the things that we've talked about is there's great analogies between learning to fly as an adult when you've got, you know, maybe half your life behind you and building a network marketing business because if you've never done it before, what you have to learn, the learning curve, is really scary and it's bewildering and you feel totally out of sorts, you know, if the idea is, is hey, what you need to do is go out and talk to people every day and invite people to look at your business and personally sponsor 50 to 100 people and build this team and be a leader. It sounds overwhelming. And learning to fly a helicopter was overwhelming. I can no. tell you it's the hardest thing I've ever done as an adult to learn how to do it. But here's the point. Within a year, I had done it. I mean, I'd done it to the point, to, I had a helicopter at my house every day. I had a hangar. I flew it almost every day. I flew it to the office. I flew it around the lake. I flew it to football games. I flew it through four or five states. Within a year, I didn't have mastery, but I had enough to keep from killing myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and you can do that too, whether it's learning to fly a helicopter or learning to build a network marketing business. Even though it may look overwhelming, and it may look like, wow, how am I ever going to learn this? If you just dedicate yourself to it, which for me was, you know, really one or two days a week. Right. One or two days a week for, you know, about six months. And, you know, I was flying everywhere I wanted to fly. And you're doing that now, too. I mean, I see your Facebook posts and you know, you're flying cross country. You're going you're going wherever you want to go by yourself. Just get out in this helicopter yeah. and go. So anybody that can learn to do this can learn to build a business. You can learn to build a business. You can learn to do anything you want to do in life if you just dedicate yourself to it and push through the fear. And I don't know of a greater fear than your first solo in a helicopter. Oh my God. <laughs> I got to tell you, the feeling, it, there's so many metaphors for our business and the feeling of knowing that you're going to go down to the school, the flight school that day, and that day you're going to be doing auto rotations, which is really practicing landing, bringing the helicopter down with no engine, you know, right. cutting the engine off. And um, the, 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 the feeling of that, the fear of knowing that you were going to be going to do that, um, almost keeps you from like actually getting in the car and going down to the school. I yeah. mean, I remember that feeling, but I also know that if I want to accomplish my dreams, I need to see the job through and I need to trust the process. And just like in the business, uh, I can remember the same feelings when I was getting started in my business, that feeling of overwhelm, like, can I really do this? But just continuing to go back and doing it over and over again until you master it. And and I, even hovering, I, I, the, the hours, I know you got it pretty quick, but I didn't. Um, I had to do it over and over and over again for many, many hours until I actually mastered the ability to hold the helicopter in a steady spot a few feet off the ground. And it, it took uh, lots of practice. Um, and, and, and I don't know of any other way to do it other than just to do it. You can't learn it in a classroom. No. No. So, and, and I found that the business is the same way. There's a lot of people that come to training programs over and over and over again trying to master the business in a training program doesn't happen there it happens outside it happens out talking to people and sharing the business and handling the questions and the concerns that people have and following up with people all those things have to happen 
um, out there, and that's where you that's where you really gain the mastery. Yeah. It's not talking about it. It's not sitting in a classroom learning it. It's good to take notes and learn things, but the business is built out there. Yeah, another great analogy about that is, you know, in the learning curve of flying a helicopter, you're with an instructor the whole way. He's got a duplicate set of controls, so you really can't like get out of sorts, you can't hurt yourself, you've got a competent coach with you at all times, and you certainly have that in learning to build your network marketing business. Somewhere in your upline is a multimillionaire that's done exactly what you're endeavoring to do, and all they want to do is teach you how to do it, and they'll actually lock arms with you, and as long as you show up and get in the left seat, they'll get in the right seat and fly with you. And same thing's true in helicopters, same thing's true in, in building a business. One of the analogies that you're gonna see as we take off that's a, that is the same as building a business is it's gonna take all the power this helicopter has just to get us off the ground. We're gonna lift up three or four feet, we're gonna turn in a circle, and we're gonna head out over these hangars, and it's gonna take all the power this helicopter has just about to make that move. But once we clear those hangars right there, you're gonna see us going about 60 or 70 miles an hour, but the power and effort is gonna be almost half of what it takes just to get from here to there. And the same thing is true with building your business. It takes a full on effort for the first year. You gotta personally sponsor 40, 50, 60, however many people it takes. In other words, we're gonna to have to pull whatever power it takes to get over those hangers. In your first year, you're gonna to have to pull whatever tower power it takes to get your business off the ground. Gain momentum. Sometimes that's personally sponsoring maybe only 30 people maybe 70 or 80 until you find three people that will run hard with you. And I got to tell you, the view from up there is pretty spectacular. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, when you're, when you're appreciating and enjoying that view and the experience of living your life, that lifestyle, you don't think about uh, the, the challenges and the pain and the, 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 um, the struggles. You don't think about that while you're enjoying that. But that's what you have to go through and everyone goes through it. But I can do one thing and then learn another, and then learn another, and again, trust that process to get, to get to the point where you can really begin to enjoy and appreciate the view from the top because it, it is pretty spectacular. Yeah. yeah. Let's check this off our bucket list. All right. Go do it. Sounds good. You never know who came by and dinged your tail rotor while you weren't looking, like a truck or something. <clears throat> and that's not good if the tail rotor's bent. <laughs> Alright you guys, have Bye. fun! Bye! 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 Bike check good. RP check. At rise. Doors closed and latched. Friction off. Friction off. Check hydraulic. Frog's good. North Las Vegas helicopter 441 Julian Pimet on the west ramp. South ramp requesting west departure. Helicopter 441 Julian Pimet North Las Vegas target departure from the south ramp. Meet your own wrist west departure approved. Departure approved.
cross-country tour. Oh my god. And every night we stop somewhere and do a generic training. That would be great. Kind of like a big owl yeah. training. That'd be an adventure. But You're going to see like the airport, you're going to see the south ramp's going to be kind of off to the right. Um, point it out to you. North Las Vegas Tower, helicopter 441 to the OVM. It's inbound from Red Rock, request uh, south ramp. Did you hear about Tony Robbins' flight where he got caught in the fog? No. His first solo, he got caught in some fog and he had to land the helicopter. We're gonna kind of loop around these buildings and south ramp is on this side of the runways. Nice work, man. Right in the circle. Right here? Yeah. Right. <laughs>